Hello everybody. So today I'm doing a recap and a review on Jocelyn's Cabaret uh, Season 2 Atlanta. I think you have to go. So it finishes off with Yummy and Miss Natural arguing. And Jocelyn was really, to me, very disrespectful. She was like, why did you... Why did you say some say something out of your dick suckers instead of saying your mouth? You're a nothing asshole. She called her crispy, crusty hoe, like very much degraded her. And she was upset that Yummy mentioned to Jaws uh, to Miss Natural that we don't want you here. And Jocelyn said that you were toxic because she was talking to her hairstylist and makeup team. My whole thing is don't say some stuff that you can't say to somebody's face first. I mean, Yummy's not a fighter. She's smaller than the rest of the ladies. And pretty much, she'd be like me, where we can just sit and um, hurt you with our words. I don't necessarily want smoke. So then... They're screaming and yelling. Then she decides to... <sighs> excuse me. Invite a therapist. So she was just saying that these ladies need help. Jocelyn makes it seem like she cares about these ladies. But I believe she has her favorites. But I really don't think she cares about herself. She only cares about getting that money. Why they spent that episode arguing nobody danced. I'd be trying to dance. So she's like, you know, I believe the first one to go talk. I can't even remember the order. So Yummy talks and expresses that she feels Jocelyn basically did that to throw her under the bus. And how she's tired of like all this craziness. Because like that energy stuff is draining. This is why... A lot of groups of people that I used to deal with and support and, and will go to back for people. I don't do it anymore because all they want to do is sit up and argue and fight and do all. I don't. I'm too grown for this. Damn. Lexi Blow talks to the therapist and expresses that her mother's husband or something, her stepdad, overdosed. And when she got pregnant... Her mother kicked her out at age 17. She says, my parents were very young, so I spent time with babysitter and my grandparents. I'm trying to think of all the ladies. Um, Sapphire talks about just wanting to do better and how her friend gave her a message of make it make sense. So when she makes choices, he's like, okay, that's good. That you're bettering yourself. Then Hucky, Lucky, Hucky, Lucky Hustler was really defensive. I don't even remember what the heck their conversation was about. And then Boss Tech talked about her drinking and the doctor basically told her, I cannot give you therapy session while you're drinking. So she put the drink down and he said, you have to want to do better. And then she um, talked. Then the therapist talked to Chanel TSO. Excuse me. She talks to Chanel TSO and basically Chanel admits that she is an alcoholic and she's having withdrawal symptoms. And the doctor's like, you might want to get help with that because that's not good because when you're drunk, like he told Bostick, you can't do your job correctly. I feel like I'm missing somebody. I don't know, but I felt... Jocelyn wasn't sincere in helping these ladies because all she calls them are hoes and bitches. Like, that's mad disrespectful. So then after their therapy session, she talks to the ladies and is like, because of what um, Yummy did, she was talking about behind my back. She threw me under the bus. This is the reason why you're going home. And, like, the ladies are mad. She's like, I'm going to let these bitches beat your ass outside. 
you're small. I don't give a crap. I'm going to give you to the hyenas. So then in her sessional, she was like, but what are some hyenas to a goddess lion? I feel that shit. Like, she seems like a super cool chick. But what people can't do is keep picking on someone. If you're trying to talk to me and I'm talking like this and you're just like, rah, 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 eventually I'm going to say some fucked up shit to you to hurt your feelings. When I try to be a better person, I try to make things make sense. I try to be nice to people. People don't want it. Then when I say some hurtful stuff, then it's like, oh, goddess, you're you're the reason why. No, I was trying to talk to you like somebody, but you wanted to go left field. This is why I've said in my videos lately, I'm tired of pre-warning people. I'm going to start letting people make the wrong decisions and I'm going to start laughing because like, I can't make anybody do right if they don't want to do right. So then the ladies are just like, you're fake. We can't trust you. So then Jocelyn was like, basically you're either going to let them both stay or you're going to both let them go. And my whole thing was a uh, Chanel is a definitely a flip flopper because when boss tech got crazy with her, she didn't do nothing. I mean, I know you're focused on stuff, but like if we're talking and you're just talking crazy to me, I'm like, first of all, you're not going to sit here and disrespect me. Shut the fuck up. Like that's just me point blank period. That's my personality. But I noticed in situations, now I understand why uh, Sapphire was throwing them Scooby snacks at her because she's fake. I don't like her fake ass. And um, then uh, Miss Natural knocks on Jocelyn's door as she's like reading a book. She's like, man, these crazy hoes. Hold on before we go to that. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm tired. I got to go to bed soon. I got to be up early. Um, what you call it? Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I feel so, like, brain, de brain dead and tired. But she met with Sapphire in the pool, and they talked. I felt like Sapphire was sitting on Jocelyn, turking her butt and showing her coochie or whatever. Jocelyn decided to skinny dip, and Ballistic got upset. Like, what the heck? I think Ballistic is a more private person. Like, I remember when they were on um, that hip-hop family edition with couples therapy or whatever. He didn't like her doing all that. Like, okay, yes, you have a nice fake body. Your booty's kind of dropping in the back, Jocelyn, because it's fake. We know this. Um, but, like, when you're someone's fiancé... You have to treat it different than if it was just you booed up with someone and you're fucking and living together. I don't mean to be rude or brook, but it's true. But even on that show, Ballistic <laughs> didn't seem like he wanted to marry Jocelyn. But anywho, they talked and basically Sapphire was like, I'm here to do my job. I'm here to help the ladies. I want everybody to do well. I want to make you proud, Jocelyn. Let's get it done. And then... She was like, well, if you're going to send Miss Natural home, then you got to send Yummy home, too. So I was like, okay, fair enough. So then towards the end, Miss Natural goes, knocks on Jocelyn's door, talks to her. And, and, and Miss Natural just seemed like she was having a mental breakdown or she has mental health issues. She was smiling and laughing. She was just getting mad. And I believe her personal problems are why she's been acting different because I felt like for her to get so mad at Yummy, you're taking your aggression out on this lady for internal stuff. And I have to work on stop doing that to my loved ones. So when I'm really not feeling something lately, I've just been not talking to people. Like, oh, I'm not trying to argue with this person. I'm going to let them do what they do. And, and eventually one day someone will be like, goddess, you're right. But what I'm not going to do is argue over some s-h-i-t that don't have nothing to do with me no internet beef so i'm sick of this crap it literally drives me nuts so for her to get that mad like bro if we're only in the house for a few days like say at work someone will be like hey um i got the hookup on a job let me text you or hey i'm looking for a new apartment i might just um give anybody at work a App text number. No, you can't have my real number because I don't trust you. 
people are weird as hell and I learned to protect myself. Anywho, so she was just made it seem like Yummy was her best friend and, and everything. But my whole thing is this. We're just getting to know each other. When people talk about themselves, I more listen. Unless we're having some real ass conversation. But she got super upset. She was started acting real crazy with Jocelyn. And she was just really emotional and angry. But to get that mad over some petty crap, I'm not understanding it. It's probably her, uh, wh whatever is going on with her son. I am assuming that he is in foster care or the father. I want to say allegedly has gotten soul full custody or something in the water is not clean. But at the end of the day, even if I was given an opportunity of a lifetime, if it would come to do that or take care of the children, I'm taking care of home first. I don't care because without mine, I'm nothing. Even though I get frustrated sometimes and get mad, home comes first. So Jocelyn finally was like, Listen, bitch, I can't help you. So we will see what happens next Sunday. Thank you to all my supporters. Thank you to all of my haters. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And also, please click the notification bell. Thumbs up the video. Tell me how you feel. And also, please, please, please take a listen to my podcast. I put my podcast in the community post. Thank you.